So to be able to work easily with the keychain, we are going to add one library to our project. So let's go to uh, our project target, package and dependencies, click add. And we're going to add the library. Let me open it up. It's by Kishiv Kawakatsumi and called Keychain Access, right? It's a very popular library, has 7,200 uh, stars on GitHub. And this library is making really easy to use Keychain. And it has, it's really active library, has a lot of contributors, etc. So all we need is this URL here to gain access to that. So go to our uh, add packages and search the copy and paste the library there and click add package. It has only one uh, product inside in one package. So this will add our uh, keychain access library to our project. So now we can uh, actually use it and save things and read things from our keychain much much easier than uh, this is done usually so let's uh, let's create another folder here new group uh, here and i'm going to call this utilities utils and let's move this underneath our model so in our in my utils i'm going to create a file called this secure storage and here i'm going to create a final class secure storage and at the top let's say let user key is equals and i will say yeah user secure key so whenever we are saving something using this library, at least uh, to keychain, we want to save under certain key, and then we are going to use that key in order to read data. So technically it's more or less like what we are doing with user defaults. We have a key value pairs. Whenever we save something, we give it a key. And when we want to read it back, we said, please give me whatever you have under this key. So in our secure storage final class, I'm going to have a private static let keychain is equals and we are going to initialize uh, the library here and in order to do that I need to import keychain access and let's say keychain and I'm going to initialize it with a service and here we need to pass a string usually we pass our bundle identifier which in the project if you go to the targets and select your project name bundle identifier is this one you can select an arrow and copy this bundle identifier so let's go to our storage and paste it here so we have our static uh, keychain in our secure storage i will create a function called save and we are going to save a data so you can pass any data here this uh, class is very reusable you can use in any other of your project so we say with key is going to be string and this is asynchronously because keychain, uh, unlike uh, user defaults, uh, whatever you are saving and reading from keychain is taking time. And that's why we are doing this asynchronously so we don't block our main thread. So then we just call our secure storage, get a keychain because this is static, you can, uh, call it without initializing our secure storage keychain and we say that uh, data for and then we pass a key here so we want to save whatever we are passing in to whatever key we are passing in that's it um, second function we want to read data so we say get and uh, we say with key we want to get the key is string and this is again async and it will return some kind of data but it's an optional maybe there is no data under this key in our keychain so we'll say secure storage dot keychain and then we get a data 
for the key. So this will return whatever if there is a data. And finally, we want to also delete something from our keychain. With key is a string, and again, this is an async function. Doesn't take or uh, doesn't return anything. It takes a key. So again, we say secure storage dot keychain, and we are going to pass the key is equals to nil. So whatever we have in our keychain under this key, please set it to nil. And that's all for uh, for this. Ah, this we need to say equals to data. Because we need to, we are setting a data for key, and uh, I forgot to put the uh, value that we are passing in actually. Okay, so this is our secure storage, and let's see how we are going to use that. So under, uh, after uh, in our folder utils, after my secure storage, I'm going to create another Swift file called this user repository. And let's create a final class user repository. It's an observable object. And we will have a published var user of type user and user. And it's an optional because initially when we run, let's say our application for first time or whenever the user is logged out, there is no local user in our keychain. So it will return a nil here. Whenever we have something in our keychain, this user will be set to the value of that thing. In order to use our keychain, we are going to create a keychain access here. So we say private let secure storage is equals secure storage and we initialize it again it's good idea to use dependency injection there and every time we initialize this okay we want to try and get our user from our keychain because remember it's an async function and happens at the background we are going to create a task and say our user is equals await fetch user and this fetch user doesn't exist yet we are going to create this function we are going to actually create a few functions here so let's start with this fetching user we want our uh, user repository to be able to fetch user to create new user to update an existing user or to delete a user so the first one is our uh, fetch user and this is an async and it returns a user object which is qu uh, with question mark because in a, it's an optional user. So now this error goes away. So what we need in our fetch user. First we want to make sure that we have something in our keychain saved under that uh, key. So we say guard let user data Remember, whatever we were saving in our secure data storage is a data. We don't save our user object itself in a keychain. So we want to get the user data out of it. So this is equals to await. And we access our secure storage. And we want to call the function get whatever is under user key. Else, if for some reason we didn't have anything in this under this key we want to say return nil so this will be nil if however we have some kind of user data that we have received from our secure storage we want to take that data and decode it to a user object so we'll say do and then we say return and we need to try this because we have this do catch block here catch in case if it throws an error let's say print error uh, couldn't get user so we say return try json decoder let's initialize one and we want to decode type is user self 
data is our user data. So it's, uh, we are asking JSON decoder, please try to decode this user data that we are giving you into a user object. It may succeed, then we will have a user, or it may fail, then we will have a nil anyway. Our function is returning an optional. Uh, if this fails, we will just want to say return nil. So this is our fetch user function. Then uh, I want to have a func called update user. And for our user, we need to pass uh, all the parameters of user here. So we have a name, which is string. We have address, which is a string. And we have a mobile, which is also a string. So this will update a user. Again, we say to and catch block here. And we say user question mark because we are accessing this user here. So if we have a user, we set the name equals to the name that we have passed. Then we say user dot address is the address that we have passed. And finally, user dot mobile is the mobile that we have passed. And then we say let user data. So we want to take our user and convert it into a data so we can save it to our user defaults. Uh, username is let. Yes, there is a problem there. Let's go ahead and change this to var, var, and var because we want to update them. The ID I'm not changing because we are not going to change the ID. ID will stay constant. So we say user data is equals, and we want to try to encode this. JSON encoder, we initialize it, and we ask it to encode our value, which is the user. So if JSON encoder encodes this into user data, we are going to say task. We are putting it in a task because our secure storage is an asynchronously, and we just have to say await secure storage dot save data with and our data is user data with user key and in case if there are errors we say print error could and save user Okay, this is our update function. We need another function to save our user first time. So it's actually a create user. I'm going to copy this and paste it here because we need all these parameters to pass. But this time I will say create user. So here, instead of updating our existing user, I would say my user is equals to user and we are going to initialize one. We will initialize with uh, UUID of UUID string and then name, address and mobile number. We pass whatever our function is giving us because our uh, user repository doesn't have to have access to these inputs. We just create the call the function and pass all the inputs that we have in our account area. Oh, we haven't run it yet. OK, so this will create a user couldn't save user and here I will say couldn't create user so we know what the error is but uh, at the background we are calling exactly the same thing we just uh, initialize our user differently uh, we need just to create a data and again we need to our secure storage to save it so we have update user we have create user let's uh, have a function this actually can be a private And this can be private. And the reason they are private is, uh, let me copy this function call. We will have one function to be able to access it from outside of our class, which is just uh, save changes. 
and we will pass the name, address, and mobile. So this function will be accessible from outside. It will pass us the information that we need. And inside our class, we are going to decide if we are going to create a new user or we are going to update our user. So let's say uh, if user not equals to nil, the user is this one. So if we have, uh, because we are fetching our user on the initialization, so if we have set some kind of value, it means that we were able to go to our uh, keychain and get some user out of it. So it means that there is a user, so we are going to update it. Otherwise, we want to create a new one. Else, we say uh, create user with name is name, address is address, and mobile is mobile. Otherwise, we want to update our user. Again, we pass the parameters and the mobile. All right, so this is all we have to do here. We have the save, which is accessible from outside. We have two private functions, which does the for work internally. We have a fetch user, which gets our user. And one last thing we need is in case if we want to remove our user. So I will say func remove user. And again, we have a task because everything running in our uh, secure storage is on the background. Uh, wait secure storage dot delete. And the key is user key. And whenever we delete something, we want also to set our user here to nil because we don't have anything in our secure storage. We don't want to keep the data in our user. So we say this is equals to nil because this function does some background job as well as it updates our user, which is published and it will change our UI. This will be, this will have to run on a main thread. So we will mark it as main actor. Otherwise we will get this purple error, uh, purple warning. It's not an error, but it's not good to update UI from the background thread. So we have our user repository and because we need access to this user repository from multiple views, we are going to do the same trick that we did with our basket view model. We are going to put it in our environment so we can access it from multiple views. So I will say environment object and we say user repository and we'll initialize one. So now we have access throughout our application to our user, which basically whenever we set our user, it will be this published user object. Or if we don't have a user, it will be just nil. There is nothing else we need to tell to it.